How's it going everyone? It has been Lone Vault Wanderer here with another Borderlands 3 discussion video. The question for today's video is do you think Borderlands 3 should incorporate an 8 player co-op mechanic? Please let me know in the comments below. This was a video idea that I've been thinking about for a while and it came up from the moment we tried to play Borderlands 1 recently on my Twitch. We were streaming it and I had to get together as you usually do with Borderlands playthroughs another 3 players to play the game with me. Very quickly, uh, I found out that uh, we might not have enough spaces open. You know, whenever I, I stream a multiplayer game, you always get a bunch of people saying, Hey, Lone, I want to play. Hey, Lone, I want to play. And this happens, of course, even when you're not streaming and when you're not doing this, you know, through Twitch or whatever it is, or a YouTube channel. Whenever you want to play multiplayer co-op games with a bunch of friends, sometimes people get excluded because there are certain caps and the number of players that you can have in the game and of course with borderlands that has been for you know since the moment the game was created and first released that has been four players and at the time it was really cool don't get me wrong i still love the four player co-op mechanic in borderland because couch co-op is starting to die and also cooperative campaign games are starting to die i've talked about this numerous times in the past but borderlands 3 is pretty much really needed at this stage because we're not seeing that many full campaigns that allow you to play through with a bunch of friends we are seeing it with far cry but hey even with far cry apparently they're not actually allowing you to save your progress when you play with a friend so only one of the people that's playing or hosting the game in far cry 5 is allowed to save the progress which is really weird but back to borderlands this is why borderlands is important and the four player cult mechanic has been important for so long because the fact is borderlands shines when you play with your friends right and particularly if you can play with up to three other friends but sometimes right sometimes that three player limit in terms of you know including yourself and then you looking to get three other players so four in total it can get a little bit restrictive even if it's just by one or two players and I think that it would be an amazing idea if Borderlands 3 would incorporate an eight player co-op campaign now I'm certainly not the first person to think of this right it's not a particularly novel idea if you google Borderlands eight players you'll see a bunch of reddit posts about it you'll see a bunch of steam posts about it apparently there's a eight player co-op mod for Borderlands as well I'm not going to recommend that apparently it's a bit dodgy but nevertheless the idea has come up before but it would be an absolutely fantastic idea the ability to play with up to seven friends of yours would be an absolute blast with Borderlands. And I do want to list a number of things to bear in mind, you know, when asking the question whether Borderlands should incorporate an eight-player co-op mechanic. The first one being that usually when Borderlands games launch, whether it's Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and I believe this was the case with pre-sequel, but don't quote me because I didn't really play that. But usually there are four-player characters, right? With Borderlands 1, you had that. With Borderlands 2, you had that. So when you have only a max of four players in the lobby at any one time to play a game, each person can pick a player and then you've got a nice range of characters in the game, right? And if you had eight players that could be able to join a game, you would have a lot of duplicates. Maybe that doesn't really concern some people, but even if it does concern some people, this is why I'm bringing it up, I think that that kind of point is redundant because... Usually a couple of months after launch, you get a bunch of DLC characters anyways, right? We see that with Borderlands 2 in particular. You'll get DLC characters added to the game months after launch. So by the time the game's been out for four, five, six months, whatever it is, you could have eight possible players in the game. And with a game like Borderlands that has a longevity to it, I mean, you can play through that game so many different times. People are playing it six months plus after launch, even when all the DLC are released. So that's why I think an A player mechanic could be cool. The question is, of course, is whether it's actually technically possible. I'm not a developer, I'm not a software engineer or anything like that. So I can only vaguely guess that this is somewhat possible. There are games, of course, there are games that allow you to play with eight players co-op. There are multiplayer games which allow you to play, you know, fucking, I, I think Battlefield allows you to play, what, 64 people online together. Although multiplayer games and co-op games like Borderlands, very different, right? It's not apples and apples you're comparing here. But the point is, is that there have been games in the past that have allowed you to play with seven other friends, therefore eight players in total. But as I alluded to, when you consider a game like Borderlands, which technically is not really multiplayer, 
it has a lot of different other hurdles to try and combat with if it were to try and increase the player base to eight players. Because it is a single player game, it's not really multiplayer. There are different worlds, different maps, different quests, different characters you have to talk to. Like, th there's just a lot of stuff technically that would have to be overcome and issues of which that just aren't present in your traditional Call of Duty Battlefield multiplayer game. So those would definitely need to be overcome. However, I do think it's important that Borderlands 3 does actually try and seek, well, I should say Gearbox specifically. Gearbox, I think it's important for them to try and increase the player base to eight players. Because first of all, you're always looking at innovation when it comes to game sequels, right? You're always looking at that way to improve your game, to excite players, to wow players, and not just give them the same kind of experience that they've had in the past previous games. Now, I'm not talking about major changes need to be made to the Borderlands franchise. Yes, keep its core mechanic, but increasing the player base from four to eight is not gonna detract away from the game in any way because it's optional. And if anything, it's just gonna make the game much more fun for people that do wanna play with seven other friends. And secondly, touching on what I mentioned before about how sometimes just having four players in a lobby at any one time can be restrictive, you've seen with multiplayer games nowadays that can allow so many different players in a game at any one time. And even in your personal lobby, you can have up to 10 whatever it is players playing Call of Duty, Battlefield, etc. Right? And that's a disadvantage for a game like Borderlands that just can't keep up. When you want to play with a bunch of friends, what are you going to do when your only options are, for instance, Battlefield or Borderlands and there are 10 of you. What are you going to do then? Then you're going to pick the game that allows you to play with more players. When you've got the option there, Borderlands is kind of at a disadvantage slightly when it only allows four players at any one time. So I think increasing the player base at least to eight, I think more than eight is much too excessive, but increasing it to eight would make the game much more fun, first of all, but second of all, it would allow it to be much more accessible to big groups of players that want to play a game at any one time. Even games like Destiny which from what I remember, allows you to play with many more friends than just three. So it could be a great way for Borderlands to improve, to innovate, to reach that next step and to also wow us. I mean, we, we heard Randy Pitchford at E3 talking about how they've got big ambitions with the next Borderlands game. And that's great if it's big ambitions with story, if it's big ambitions with the world, with the characters, etc. But I think one of those big ambitions should be increasing the player base to eight. I think it's a logical next step for the franchise. It would make playthroughs so much more fun. It will make them so much more accessible for big groups of players. And overall, again, it's a choice. If you don't want to play with up to seven other friends, then you don't have to. You can play the game on your own or with three other people, just like you always wanted and just like Borderlands has always been. So I think it's a great idea. I would love to get your thoughts in the comments below, Wastelanders. Let me know what you think. And until next time, this has been Alone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself. And would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.